Today is a big day. It's an absolutely massive day. Today, we are moving house. Everyone's really excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. She's excited. Although, she really isn't happy that we've had to move her chair because, you know, stuff. Mamp's excited. Show us, Mamp. How excited are you? Look. That is so excited. Okay. She's so excited. We're all excited, except I'm not necessarily excited because I'm gonna have to move. I've rented a moving van. We're going big. Everything has to be big because the house is big. And oh my God, I have to literally move all of my stuff. This is like, how many times have I moved this year? I'm fed up of moving. I can't do it anymore. This is the last time. I promise myself, this is the last time. Good morning guys. That was a really stressful day yesterday. Managed to move everything in. Great big thanks to Paul, Hannah, Jess, Mark. That was everyone. We managed to get everything done just before it got about dark. We didn't manage to get everything ready though. Like that is where me and Samantha slept last night. I say just about managed to get everything ready. We got Aurora's bed up so that at least she had somewhere to sleep. That's her room. So we've got all of that sorted, but one massive problem when we got here was, I've never had this, our power was cut, which means I had to spend a lot of time yesterday ringing up power companies, trying to get us reconnected. Best they could do, so it's Sunday today, best they could do was get it sorted for Monday. So we now have another day. It didn't really make much difference to us yesterday, but we now have today without any power. We've just got up, just got ready. First things to do, because when you've got a fridge, in its place, but no power, is we need to go and get some food, he's going to get a drink. Mamph is like so annoyed because she doesn't get to have her coffee first thing in the morning. We're going to go out and have some breakfast, aren't we? Yeah, I suppose. Have some breakfast, mummy can have her coffee, and let's get going. I just got in from some lunch, had a lovely coffee. Manf, how you feeling? Better. Better. Oh, she's, still tired. she's got some caffeine in her system. Aurora <laughs> looks like she's nearly ready for a nap slash she's already figured out that that's where we keep snacks. We need to sort this place out. It's a bit of a tip. We've got some last little bits that need moving. So I'm gonna move those around before we show you and talk about our new house. So I've had a busy morning and kind of afternoon. We've been sorting this whole house out. I've never realized how big this house is until you literally try and put all the little boxes that contain your life in all the rooms. I say all the rooms, all I've really done is actually just put them into one room just so I can clear out the garage. It's really hot today. I'm not gonna dwell on this too much because I wanna go and swim in a pool. We can't swim in our pool right now because we've got no power and it's a bit gipping in there. So we're gonna go down the road to our friend's house and swim in their pool and make that one all dirty. But before we do, let's give you a tour of our house let's show you exactly what it's like and this is the house that we've finally bought in Australia so right now I'm in the dining area or one of the eating areas this is where we will eat most of the time we've got a kitchen in the kitchen we have Mamf, say hi Mamf. Hi. We've got all of our cooking stuff. We've got a pantry over here. So here is our pantry, all in there, all of our stuff. Some of it's tidied away, but as you can see, like, 
most of it kind of isn't. It's 30 odd degrees today, I'm hot, there's no power in here, so I wanna go in a swimming pool. Here's our space for when we do get it, a much bigger fridge. So this will become our beer fridge and we'll get one of those massive like American two-door ones put in there. It's all a bit dated really. This house is about, what was it man? 17. 17 years old. In Australian terms, that kind of seems to be reasonably old. But I don't think the previous owners actually, they did kind of renovate, but it seems like it's all at least 10 years old. So nothing's really modern in here, which isn't necessarily a problem because we got it kind of cheap. This house with all of the taxes and stamp duty was just a little bit over $600,000. And where we lived in the UK for a house this size, I don't think we would have been able to afford it. Because you don't know yet, yeah, this house that we've bought is a five bedroom. Well, it says five, but one of the bedrooms, as you'll see in a minute, is on the ground floor. And it's not really got a walk-in wardrobe, so I don't really count that as a fifth bedroom. But I suppose guests could stay in there. Five bedroom, a uh, three reception room, detached two-story house. It's got a pool, it's got a hot tub, it's got a two-car garage. And this is pretty much, from our, from our budget perspective, the biggest thing that we could buy. And we want it to be our forever home. I don't imagine me moving anytime soon and considering over the last year we've moved our lives all the way from the UK to here we've moved multiple times whether it's moving out of our house moving into our in-laws house because of COVID delaying everything getting a rental now moving here genuinely speaking I do not want to move anytime soon that's it we're in let's make it our own let's show you a little bit more this is going to be our main kind of living area because it's got you know kitchen eating and then behind me this is our first living room. At the moment, it's kind of turning into a little bit of a playroom for Aurora as well. We've got a new big sofa. This sofa, Sam actually got off the Facebook. She got it for free. So we've got a brand, not brand new, but it's from Harvey Norman. So it's, is it a posher than our Ikea one? I'm not too sure. It's a few years old, needed a bit of a hoover. We'll probably get it cleaned as well. But it's a six seater. L-shaped corner sofa. We're gonna push it just a bit over. See, this is where our TV is currently living because it's gonna go up on here, but I haven't put it up yet. Got no power, so there's nothing to watch. But it's also kind of doubling up as a little bit of a playroom for Aurora. It's nice, light, airy in here when you open all the windows up and stuff, get a lovely breeze through. We've got a downstairs kind of cupboard. Harry Potter-esque. I reckon Aurora would want to live in there for a little bit until she realizes it's tiny. We can put all of our stuff in there, hide your things like your vacuum. And I said to an Australian the other day, I was like, I'm gonna go and buy a hoover. And they were like, do you mean an actual hoover hoover? I was like, no, that's just what we call anything that basically sucks up dust. Going through, through here. This, when we bought it, it was doubling up as like a second living area. And then where I'm standing, they had another dining table. From the houses that we grew up in in the UK, you were really posh if you had two living rooms and two dining rooms, like a formal one. In my opinion, what is the point in having a dining room which you use at Christmas? That's it. All right. Why? You've got all that space going to waste. So because we like having people over, because we like entertaining, we're gonna turn this whole thing here into, well, at the moment, if I get my way with it, we're gonna turn it into a games room. Manf might not agree. We're gonna try and fit like a pool table in here. I wanna build a bar and put it up there and then stock it with like booze. But we'll see, I don't know, it's just a massive space at the moment. As you can see, we're gonna turn it into Aurora's racetrack slash uh, falling over arena. We're gonna set up a little obstacle course for her. Just, you know, time trial her and see how she goes. Not sure what it's gonna be at the moment, but everything just costs money. And considering we spent pretty much every cent on this house, that's gonna be a while. Front door, cause you know, gotta get in. This down here. So this is our garage, Le Double. Looking through, you can see both of the cars. It's a bit tight. We can just about fit both of the cars in there. Not necessarily a problem because we've got a reasonable amount of storage elsewhere. You can't really store a lot in the garage. In here is a downstairs toilet and shower room. And it just looks slightly freaky because there's no light and I'm relying on the light of my camera. This is the downstairs kind of guest bedroom type of thing. As you can see, no built-in wardrobes, but it's a reasonable size. You could get a double bed in here. <laughs> that TV down there, 
the same lady that was giving away the massive corner sofa thing, she was all like, do you want a telly as well? I was like, yeah, that can be my outside telly. I think it's like a 38 inch, it's reasonably old. I didn't pay for it, it was free. <laughs> yes, I'll have one. Down here, laundry room. Got the washing machine, by the way, that is the heaviest washing machine in the world. There's an outside area that goes outside towards the pool. Let's go out there actually, because I'll show you around. It's a nice little side access bit. When Aurora's older and she's kind of running into the pool and stuff, she doesn't have to drip all the way through the house. She can just go through the laundry and then into the shower. There's one of our side accesses. Well annoying. That bit there, someone's broken it and that means I've got to replace it, but I'll have to replace one of the panels. And on the other side, it's painted, so I'm gonna to have to paint the whole thing again. At least I get to choose a better color because it's kind of blue and rubbish and tatty. So this is our outside area from the laundry. We've got like drying thing, another freebie. So this one over here, that was our old table. That's been rejected now. It has to live over there. It's not allowed to come into the main area. It's been a bad boy. But this one here, again, a little second hand jobby. And with six chairs, so we've now got like 10 chairs, which is more chairs than people we know in Australia. So you can like put your feet up, I suppose. Aurora even has her own one, just because we don't want to sit with her. No, of course we do. Chairs are a little bit smaller, a little bit easier for her to manage. Again, I think that was off the Facebook. That was free. This is another one of Aurora's play areas near the barbecue. Got her an array of ridey on things. Right, she's got a unicorn. She's got a Dumbo. Another unicorn. She said, can, I, can she have a rocking horse? And I've got this thing that horses aren't really my best friend because one bit me when I was younger and that now that means that I don't like them for life. I said no rocking horses at all. Don't get a rocking horse, it's ridiculous. So she came home with two free unicorns and a Dumbo, which rock. So it's fine because they're not horses. I'd love someone to like, you know, teach me to love horses again, maybe. Right now, they're just not my best friend. Down here, this is our second side access. So when I become a big boy and a proper Queenslander and I get a boat, I can put a boat there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with a boat. Like I've never driven a boat, ridden a boat, whatever you do, sail a boat. Even like one with a motor, I've never really driven a boat, sailed a boat. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but apparently you need a boat. Either that or a caravan and I'm not like 95. I'm gonna have to find something to put down the side of this house. It's weird, because down this part here, there's like a retaining wall and then it just seems like they've put 17 years worth of grass cuttings down here. What? Why? There's soil underneath there. We're going to turn all of this, this side bit, into like a vegetable garden. And we're going to try and become little homesteaders and grow. Shut up, mate. I'm making a video. And we're going to try and grow vegetables and salads and try and grow as much as we can. This bit that I'm stood on now, it's a bit weird and knackered. We've got like AstroTurf and I think that doubled up as like a little fire pit area. They put like one of those tins that you put on it. It's not really got much fire damage. This area here is gonna become our play area for Aurora. We'll just kind of re-turf it, change it all up. There's a blue wall. Don't know, don't know why they've got a blue wall. I'm assuming it's for like privacy or because you know, like our old table was banished now because you know, it's old and we don't need it. They've kind of, banished to the shed. We've got a little three by three shed down there. I suppose if you wanted to, you can have a little kind of storage area behind here. It's just kind of starting to overgrow a little bit. I don't know, it's a bit knackered now. It's starting to kind of fall apart really. But in time, I suppose we'll just get rid of that as well. I, I like the idea of a shed and you don't have to banish it from the rest of the garden, I don't think. We'll get, an, I'll get a nice new shed, one that's pretty to kind of look at. Now this here is our pool. Never had a pool before. Don't really know how to take care of one or what to do. I had a hot tub in the UK. It was one of those inflatable ones. And then the cat popped it because he likes like sleeping on it. And one day his claws just went through the like, PVC kind of stuff. Thanks Frank for uh, popping my hot tub. I know how to upkeep a hot tub. Just going through the fence. Nice rule in Queensland really, a sensible rule. Don't let kids in here unattended. So every pool has to have a fence around it. There is our hot tub. The guy, when I bought it, it was all like, He'd replaced all the internals and had them maintained. So it's all new inside. Um, the outside is a little bit tired, sort of weather damage and things, but I'll sand that all up, re-varnish it, repaint it. It's a four, four person, like four really comfortably, but I suppose if you wanted to squish people in like they do with hot tubs and like little sardines, then, you know, we could fit about six in there. Um, this is the pool. 
load of stuff's fallen in it and because we've got no power i can't actually clean it yet so it's just getting worse and worse as we speak power is due to get connected back tomorrow problem with the pool not wanting to be you know like too much of a whinging pom there's like loads of vegetation looks pretty doesn't look pretty in the pool aside from me kind of cleaning it every day this seems to be only like a few days crap in the pool because when i picked up the keys on monday the pool looked uh, okay like it could have looked like having a clean now i wouldn't really want to get in that pool so that's all the outside area that's the hot tub that's the pool I'm gonna have a great job tomorrow cleaning that up when the power comes back on. Yay! I'm sure every pool owner in Queensland can sympathise with me when they have to clean that. Let's show you the inside. Go and wake up Spud so we can take her to the pool. Let's go up the stairs. Floorboards are a bit creaky. Need to sort them out. This is our second. Second? This is our third upstairs living area. It's all a bit of a tip right now. I'm gonna put our old IKEA sofa and things in here but here it is i'm going to kind of double it up with my office area set up my desk and stuff behind but this is a nice little airy spot i don't know might try and put some kind of nice tv there or even a projector so you know i can just watch things in peace set up some kind of cinema room that'd be nice here's is the upstairs toilet aka aurora's bathroom got a bath Got a shower, seems to be the thing that always the toilets are separate, but I suppose when some for absolutely drops one or I don't have to smell it in the bar. Here's one of the bedrooms. Decent size again. Could probably fit, well, you could easily fit, there's, well, sorry, there's the, there's the robes. Could easily fit a double bed in here. I might make this the kind of guesty one. The next bedroom, which is kind of doubling up as a storeroom, tiny bit bigger again fit double bed got the built-in wardrobes it's a great thing that all houses in australia seem to have built-in wardrobes having them extra on top of the room size it just eats into so much of the room this is our bedroom this is a nice big size bedroom for us much bigger than kind of anything we're used to here's our walk-in wardrobe sorry about the light because you know can't turn it on. They haven't really kind of utilized the space as well as they perhaps should have. Put that on the list of things to update. And then here is our ensuite. Nice big shower. His and hers kind of sinks. Got a dunny because you need a dunny. Lovely window into the outside. Can't quite look out the window while you're in the dunny because that would be weird. And then the last room, Spud's asleep. Let's go and wake her up. She's gonna love it. Stick a camera in her face. And this is Spud's room. She's actually out. Oh, it's like a zombie. Hello Spud, you're waking up. Oh, sleepy baby. I'm gonna leave it there because we're gonna take Spud out for a bit of a swim. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed our video, if you loved seeing what our house is like, our forever home in Australia, then smash that like button. We're gonna make some more videos about the buying process. Once we've actually tidied things and sorted things out, you should be able to see the house in a little bit more glory. But as you can see, this house is a door upper. We're gonna be doing this one up as we save the money and making it more modern, renovating it, renovating it as we go. So that's the kind of thing that you're into or you wanna know more about our journey from the UK, emigrating to Australia, take a look at our channel. If that's something that you're into, then please give us a subscribe. We've got lots of videos there about moving from the UK all the way through to Australia. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.